Hey guys, what's up? Tyler Clark here. Uh, I had posted on my uh, Facebook uh, a few days ago uh, asking, you know, if you guys would like to see some uh, tutorials and uh, me reviewing and showing some of the VSTs and plugins I use. And, uh, you know, you guys seemed all for it. So I figured, you know, I'd start doing it. And what better way to start this off than with uh, Dada Life's new uh, plugin, Sausage Fattener? Uh, designed specifically to make your beats look like a sausage <laughs> but uh, anyway essentially what I can figure out what this thing actually is because you know everybody's like what does it do what does it do it's, well, it makes it fat but <laughs> anyway um, I think what it is is just compressor is it's kind of like a just a compressor that completely just f floors whatever sound you're sticking into it into the wall and the more fatness you crank this baby up on the harder it just pushes it you know into just a brick wall uh, I'll show you why here in a little bit you know why I think that but um anyway essentially you know the layout of this thing's real simple you know three buttons fatness color gain and you got this cool little animation here of this sausage with gears inside of him his face changes oh look at the cute little sausage and then now he's, oh, he's an angry sausage. But anyway, um, you obviously, you know, 0% does absolutely nothing. 100% way. So, I mean, it is just unreal how distorted and heavy it makes your stuff sound. Like, I don't know anybody who could even make a decent song out of it being cranked all the way up to 100%. About the highest I go in anything that I've done yet with it has been about 50%. But, uh, you know, the fatness... You know, that knob right there, it just kind of basically beefs it up. And whatever, you know, you control the amount that you want it beefed up with. Um, color over here to the side, it's obviously some sort of saturation. I'm not quite sure what it does. But when it's on 0%, really all you hear beefed up are the lows. And the further up you turn it, the more kind of into the mids and the highs, I start to hear this kind of beefing thing. And it gets almost this kind of wet sound to it too when you have it at you know about 75 percent to 100 percent it starts getting sort of a wet type sound but uh you know it's a really cool thing you know it kind of adds to it it helps you know bring you put it up to about 50 or 60 percent you know really helps bring your kick out in the mids and the highs because you know a lot of times that's what we a lot of us have a problem with you know keeping the kick coming through the whole mix you know clear but uh, and then gain of course you know turn your gain up or down but um Anyway, I'm sure you kind of just want to hear what the actual sausage fattener sounds like. But I think that's the one for the, uh, whoops, I think that's, yep, that's the one for the lead. But uh, for the kick, let's see here. I've got an EQ, you know, kind of rolling off the low, low end on it. So that's what that EQ is for. But anyway, I'll cut it off, but you can just hear normal everyday kick fatten that baby up <laughs> as you can hear it just it's it puts so much force behind the sound um you know i'll play with the knobs a little bit real quick and let you hear you know the kind of kind of the effects that it has on your kick drums because i know dot all off said that they actually use it as a focus on the kick drum in their bass but uh here we go i'll turn the knobs a little bit and let you hear So there you go, you know, you can, if once fatten up at about 100%, you know, it sounds almost like a hard style kick, um, you know, bring it off to about 40 or 50 and it just, you know, it really beefs up the kick and, you know, makes it stand out a lot more in the mix and, you know, I've kind of got a mid-range powerful, you know, with a good mid-range presence kick and, um, you know, so I don't really need to boost up on the color, but, uh, Hey, that kind of distracted me. He said it was licensed to me. That's cool. But uh, <laughs> anyway, back to it. Mainly what I love to use this thing on is uh, my Electro Leads. 
Um, you know, I just constructed this simple, real easy lead right here. You know. So, you know, cool little hook. I made that sound and everything like that. You know, sounds kind of plain, don't it? Then add the sausage fattener. Then it gets awesome. <laughs> You can just hear, you know, how much more it, uh, you know, just actually puts behind your sound. It literally, you know, makes it sound fatter and just bigger and more bulkier and, you know, carries so much more power in it. But, uh, which is great, you know, if you're like me and you love to do, you know, hard, quick, fast music, you know, it's perfect. But, um, so anyway, you know, I kind of did a little, real short little song here, top deal thing, uh, to kind of give you what it sounds like on an overview of like a song. Make sure I got them on. Okay. Song with sausage fatteners. Song without sausage fatteners. You can just tell. I mean, it's it's easy. You know, you don't have to be a genius to hear it, you know, or be able to tell. The sausage fattener, you know, beefs up the sound so much. I have yet, though, to use this as a mastering agent because I feel as though, you know, it's going to give the track too much. You know, I it's just, I feel like it would give it too much punch, too much kick. I'll turn off this. And I'll actually try that right now. Let me make sure. Okay, that limiter's flatlined. I'll remove that out. None. Sausage fattener. Let's give this puppy a shot on the main track. So, yeah, that's my first time trying it. You know, it doesn't sound too bad. Definitely, you know, you could notice when I started going up to about the 50%, 40%, it really started getting, you know, kind of distorted and way over, com you know, compressed or whatever it's doing. But, uh, you know, mess with the color a little bit in here. <laughs> Yeah, you can really tell now that I had the hi-hats in there when I hit, you know, around 100%, you can just hear them come in. That's almost ear-piercing. But um, anyway, you know, great little plug-in. It's cheap, you know, well, not real cheap. You know, it's about 30 bucks. But compared to what you do pay for mastering agents and third-party compressors and everything like that, you know, it's pretty expensive. But, uh, you know, granted, this thing only really has, like, a preset that you can control the amount or, you know, how much of the EQ band it actually affects. You know, but still, $30, not too bad. If you can't afford it, um, honestly, you can just, and if you have Fruity Loops, just go over here, you know, pull open a couple of compressors, like I said, you know, knock the gain up, ridiculous, pull down the threshold to about 15 Pull your release and your attack down. Drag this to about 4.1 or 3.8, somewhere around there. Um, and, you know, just go to town with it, layer a couple of them. And like I said, I've noticed that it gives it that hard kind of hit exactly like what the sausage fattener does. And you can basically, instead of controlling the fatness, you know, on your compressor, it's just how much gain or how many compressors you have in line. And, you know, of course, you can throw in an EQ band in there and boost up you know the mids and the, the mids and the lows and everything like that but I always want to roll that off about 30 hertz <laughs> but anyway um i hope that helped i hope that really you know kind of explained it to uh, a lot of y'all but uh oh yeah one more thing i was going to show you know kind of all right you can watch the uh this limiter, I've got it open, I've got it running, you know, so it analyzes the uh, waveform as fast as it possibly can. But uh, I was going to show you what the uh, 
it kind of the sausage fattener does you know in a sense to the wave so you can see you know with the sausage fattener on I mean it's just straight up you know hammering it I mean there's no dynamics whatsoever in this wave I mean just a very very little bit but you know sausage fattener off so you know you can play around with it and everything like that but uh you know essentially that's what it does that's what it is um you know if you guys have any more you know like we want you to show us this or whatever or how do you do that in a song you know just request it in the comments below i'll try my best you know i don't want to give away too much but <laughs> you know i'll show you all i can but i hope you've enjoyed this if you if you're not subscribed to me go right ahead i put out you know a new song like once every two weeks or so uh, and hopefully I'm going to be able to start doing these more often and everything and, you know, get some cooler tutorials and maybe even get some videos on it and everything for you. But uh, anyway, that'll be it. Take care.